At a meeting, everyone shakes hands with each other. The formula for the total number of handshakes, H, made by N people is H is equal to N multiplied by N minus one all over two. Use the formula to find the number of handshakes at a meeting of 15 people. And so here we have this formula where H is equal to N multiplied by N minus one all over two. And so what do we have? Well, we know that N is equal to 15 and our goal is to figure out what is H. And so since N is equal to 15, we put 15 here and we put 15 here. So 15 and 15. And so here we subtract. We have 15 minus one and what is 15 minus one? Well, 15 minus one is 14. And so we have 15 multiplied by 14 all over two. And 15 times 14, well, 15 times 14 is 210. And so we have 210 divided by two and 210 divided by two is 105. And so that's the answer for this particular question, 105. Next, we need to use our formula to figure out the number of people when there are 210 handshakes. So we need to figure out the number of people when there are 210 handshakes. In the previous question, we had to figure out what H is, but we were given what N was. In this instance, we are not, in this instance, we are not given what N is. We have to figure out what N is, but we are given what H is. And in this case, H is 210, and we have to figure out what is N. So we substitute 210. And so we have 210 is equal to N, open bracket, N minus one, all over two. And so what we do here is our goal is to solve for N. So we're gonna take this equation right there and we're gonna switch it. And so we have 210 on this side on the right, and we have this expression on the left-hand side. Next, we distribute, and so we say n times n, and then we say n times negative one. And so if we do that, we have n times n, which is n squared, and we have n times negative one, and n times negative one is negative n, and we have that all over two, and that's equal to 210. Next, we put 210 all over one, and then we're gonna cross multiply. So we take two, and we multiply that by 210, and we take one and we multiply that by n squared minus n. And so what is two times 210? Well, two times 210 is 420, and one times n squared times, and one times n squared minus n. Again, one times n squared minus n is equal to n squared minus n. Next, we're going to take 420, and we're gonna send it over the equal sign like this. And so what do we have? Well, we have that n squared minus n minus 420 is equal to zero. And so since we have a quadratic equation, we're gonna use the quadratic formula. The general form for a quadratic formula is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, where a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x and c is the and c is the constant. In this case, a is one because the coefficient of n squared is one. b is negative one because the coefficient of n is negative one. And c is negative 420 because negative, neg negative 420 is this constant. And so a, if we notice carefully, a is one. So a is one, that's the number in front of n squared. b is negative one because that's the number in front of n and c is this constant right there, negative 420. And so using those numbers, we are going to, we're going to use the quadratic equation using these numbers. We're gonna substitute them into the quadratic equation and solve for n. And so here we have that n is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. And in this case, b is equal to negative one. So we have negative one and negative one. a is equal to one, so a is equal to one here. Again, a is equal to one here. And then c is equal to negative 420. So c is equal to negative 420. Next, we are going to compute, or we're going to evaluate all of the numbers underneath the square root. 
So we're going to evaluate this expression underneath the square root. And so we have negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 multiplied by negative 420. And when we do that, we get 1,681. So we have negative times a negative, which is a positive. So we have positive 1. So we have n is equal to positive 1 plus or minus the square root of 1,681 all over 2. And so we have that n positive is going to be equal to 1 plus the square root of 1,681 all over 2. And what is the square root of 1,681? Well, the square root of 1,681 is 41. So n positive is going to be equal to 1 plus 41 all over 2. And 1 plus 41 is 42. So we have 42 divided by 2. And 42 divided by 2 is 21. So n positive is 21. Next, we have n negative. And n negative means that we're going to put a subtraction sign in between these two terms. And so we have the square root of 1,681. And the square root of 1,681 is 41. So we have 1 minus 41. And 1 minus 41 is definitely negative 40. And so, and so we say negative 40, and, and so we say negative 40 divided by 2, and negative 40 divided by 2 is definitely equal to negative 20. So we have two values for n. n is equal to 21, and n is equal to negative 20. Now, our answer here is n is equal to 21, and that's because n is the number of people. This number can't be negative, therefore we ignore the negative result. So we ignore the negative result, but we keep the positive result. So in this case, the answer is n is equal to 21. And that's the answer to this particular question.